AutoCAD is a couple, couple of different line types. Um, first off, we've got just a normal line. Uh, we just draw your normal lines, you know, the lines that are parallel, lines that aren't parallel. Um, then you've got your polyline. With polyline, you can do a little bit more. Um, a rectangle is a natural polyline, you know, when you activate the rectangle command, um, as well as the polygon, you know, it's a, it's a polyline as well as a, off from the bat. Then you've also got your X lines. And that's what we're going to talk about today, but with a little bit of added VUMA in, in order, the AutoCAD mechanical uh, software package. So X lines, uh, there are two different types in your normal vanilla AutoCAD, as we call it. Um, the construction line, where it will run to infinity in both directions, or the ray, which will run to infinity in one direction. So that's in your normal vanilla AutoCAD. Um, in AutoCAD mechanical, they've upped the ante a little bit, and they've given us a lot more options when it comes to creating um, X lines or as they call it, construction lines here. Um, in the, on the home ribbon, um, on your construction panel, you'll see there that you've got the construction lines over here. If I click on the drop down arrow, those are the different types of, of construction lines that we can, we can create. Um, construction lines, automatic construction lines, horizontal, vertical, cross. I'm gonna go through these and just show you how, how you can create these construction lines. Uh, for a more visual effect, if I just click on construction lines, it brings up this dialog box um, and it will show you uh, the individual construction lines and, and how to create them. Um, in the top right hand corner, we can either have an X line or a ray. Okay, so basically X line runs in both directions to infinity or a ray which runs in um, one direction only. So just uh, the first couple ones, you've got your horizontal, um, vertical, and then you've got both, horizontal and vertical. So, you know, these are two pretty simple. If I just select this, just to show you, it gives you a preview of running both horizontally and vertically. Um, what you'll also notice is that it'll put it on its own, um, automatically it'll put it onto its own layer um, that has been predetermined um, in setup uh, with AutoCAD Mechanical. So if you don't want it red, you can go into your options, your AutoCAD Mechanical options, and go change that to be what you want, color, line type, um, line weight. The next one we're gonna take a look at is the um, angle, the construction line with a relative angle from a line. So if I select that, I can specify my first point, specify my second point, and then the angle. Now you'll notice down in the, in the command line that you've got, you know, either specify the second point to create it, okay? Or uh, you'll notice there you've got 15, 30, and 45. So I'm just going to go back there and just show you what I've done. So um, select the angle, first point, second point, and then you'll see there 15, 30, and 45. So if I press enter, you'll see there that it will create a construction line from this line that I've created over here at 15, 30, and 45. Okay, so you are able to create numerous uh, construction lines um, in one operation by specifying uh, the, the relative angle from the line that has been created over there. The next one is a construction line which is perpendicular to a line. So if I was to select a line, okay, and then where on the line would you like the perpendicular line to be? And it'll then go and create that uh, construction line from the perpendicular to the line I selected. Um, concentric construction lines, okay, so if I select that, I can go to the circle I've drawn over here, select your circle, and then specify the points in a circle or the diameter. So if I select over there, it'll, it'll create a circle running through uh, the point that I clicked on, or what I can do is I can type in um, values for it. So I'm going to say um, 100, 200, and 300. So what it does is it selects, it well, it goes and creates circles at 100, okay, well, diameter 100, and then I think the next one was this one here, yeah, 100 and 150. So the next one that we're gonna take a look at is just a normal circle, construction line circle, and for this one, you just select two points and it'll go and draw um, the construction circle for you. Um, the next one we're going to take a look at is construction lines that are parallel 
uh, with a full distance. So it'll be parallel to a line that you specify and it will move it or it'll create a, a construction line um, at distance that you've specified. So if I select this line over here, okay, I can say, right, how far away do I want it? So you can see there's 544, I type in 500 and press enter, it'll go and create its 500 away from here. The next one that we're going to take a look at is a by um, a bisecting construction line. So if I select my first line, select my second line, it will create a construction line that bisects those two lines, the angle of those two lines over there. The next construction or C line that we're going to create is your um, circle to the end of a shaft. Okay, so by selecting this, we can select the center line or a new starting point. Okay, select my center line. I'm going to specify the center line endpoint and assign on the contour. And what it does, it goes and creates a circle with that, uh, basically, which is like looking at a side view of, of the shaft that I've created over here. The next one that we're going to take a look at is this sort of bounding rectangle around a circle. So if I go off and I find a circle, um, let's just go draw one here quickly. And I select the C line, select the circle, and it will draw a bounding box around it. Just take a note that these are just normal lines that it's created around there. The next C line that we're going to take a look at is um, a parallel construction line half the distance away. So unlike the, the full distance away, it'll be half the distance of um, the line that you specify, the distance that you specify. Uh, so select that, select the line, okay? And then you select a second point or type in a distance. I'm gonna say 1,000 point on site offset, and you'll see there that it creates a line 500 away from um, that line that we specified. Just take a look at that. That's round about 500 over there. The next construction line I'm going to take a look at is um, the two parallel construction lines tangent to a circle. So if I select that and I select a circle, you'll notice that it puts two construction lines that are tangent on both sides of the circle. And then I just have to specify a direction that I would like these construction lines to um, run through. So you see there two construction lines on both sides of the circles. The next construction line that we're going to take a look at is this this one over here. It's the construction line circle tangent to a line. Um, so with this one, uh, I select it, I select a line that I want. Okay, then I specify a point that the circle is going to run through. So if you have a, a predefined point over here that you know the circle is going to run through, you can go select it. Okay. And then that point is, I think it's over there somewhere, that is the circle will now run to that point. If I say a radius 100, you'll notice there that it'll run through that point over there. Okay, so just to, we'll run to the point that I selected over there. Uh, the next one we're going to take a look at is um, this construction line by defining two points on angle. Okay, so with this construction line over here, I specify my first point, okay? And then I can say, I want it to be at 15, 30, and 45 degrees from that point over there. If I just press enter, it will then go and specify three construction lines running through the points I specified at 15 degrees, 30 degrees, and 45 degrees. Then I've got a construction line which is perpendicular to two points, okay? So if I wanted a construction line perpendicular maybe to this uh, white line that I've created over here, select my first point and then select my second point. And it's now perpendicular through the first point to that line that's been created. Just clean up a little bit. Uh, then the next one we've got is um, tangent between two circles. Okay. So with that, go find two circles. Select the first one, select the second one, 
and it runs a construction line or C line um, tangent to both those two circles over there. Then the next one is um, a circle between two lines. Okay? So it will be tangent to that line, tangent to that line. Then I've just got to specify the diameter. What it will do, it will place it uh, wherever appropriate between those two lines over there. I say let's make it about 250 and it will place it over there. If I do that again, select the two lines and let's make it uh, 400. It will place it a little bit further um, along the path uh, between those two uh, lines that we've created over there. Okay, then this is pretty simple, you know, construction line between two points. Um, and then you've also got a construction line in the Z direction. So with that, I can say, well, I'd like a construction line in the Z direction from the center of these circles. Okay, to see that, obviously you can't see it now because it's coming straight towards you. So just um, rotate it a little bit. And you'll see there that it's now running in the Z direction as well. Okay, so that's just some of the functionality you've got in AutoCAD Mechanical. If you wanted to, um, you know, sort of have this added sort of beefy construction, um, you know, sort of a, well, lines um, in, in AutoCAD Mechanical. Um, one thing we do have as well, is I think is quite nifty, is the... Um, your projection so you know most of you probably remember if you if you did any drawings on the drawing board um, or if you you've got two views you can create your third view by, by projecting lines so you know autocad mechanical you know just to start this off makes it quite easy where you can now go and say right i like to do projection and you'll see there you can either do whichever way you're going to project it normally it runs that way so if I now go and just construct some geometry, okay, and I say, right, um, I need to now go and draw uh, the view that's over here, um, well, you know, the, the view that's the bottom right and corner of here, maybe a side view, then what happens is we can start constructing, um, well, we can start getting construction lines off this projection line over here. So for instance, if I do my automatic construction lines over here, um, and in this automatic construction line creation, you'll see there, if I select any geometry, it's going to put construction lines up to the left, to the right, and down. On this one over here, as you can see in the picture, it'll just go to the right and up, left and up, and you can kind of get the point. So what do I want to do over here? I need these construction lines to run from this geometry to the right and then go down. Okay, so that projection line over there is going to go take care of, um, of it going down. So... I don't have to waste anything, so just do to the right, select my object, and you'll see that it projects it to the right, and then it projects it down. Okay, so that projection line, um, you know, pretty nifty, and with your construction lines as well, um, automatic construction lines, making it very easy to be able to create construction lines through a geometry, and you'll see that's done it all the way around. Um, and that's the power of AutoCAD Mechanical. So, um, you know, if you want to, uh, you do get it in the new um, AutoCAD with uh, specialized uh, well, the tool sets. Um, and that includes AutoCAD Mechanical, AutoCAD Electrical, um, AutoCAD MEP, AutoCAD Plant, um, AutoCAD Map, and AutoCAD Raster, or Raster Design, and as well as AutoCAD Architect. Thank you very much for watching.